Good morning. Grab a chair. Any type of chair, kitchen chair, whatever. And if you guys have one, let me know in the comments if you have one of these. It's one of those cheap little step stools. So if you have a cheap step stool of any, um, morning mom. If you have a cheap step stool of any type, go ahead and grab it. And if you do, let me know in the comments that you've got one of these. Because I'm going to change up the exercise depending on if you guys have this or not. Okay? But definitely a chair or couch. Preferably the chair. Because we're going to do some step-ups. So I'm going to give it a minute. Welcome. The lights. The lighting. Ah! Hold on. Let me turn on some lights in my house. Honey, can you flip that switch right there? I guess that's okay. Thank you, honey. All right, so chair and a step stool. We're gonna work our butt today. Good glute workout. Um, I'm not. I'm trying to change up the exercises from Monday, but you can definitely do some of those band exercises with or without the band. So we're gonna do a lot of step ups, lunges. We're gonna do some bridges again today, and today we're gonna do some plyometrics. No stool, okay? But you got a chair, right, Talia? Okay, I'm going to show you guys the differences. So if you do have a stool, I'll show you, and then we'll just go without the stool. So, okay. All right. Make sure my chair is in a good spot so you guys can see me completely. All right, we're going to start with this chair. We're going to start with the hardest exercise first. Hold on, let me check, fix this camera a little bit. It's the only thing about, there we go, doing live. Okay, let's kick our butt. Uh oh, my lighting. Hold on, let the camera find me. There we go. Good, let's kick our butt. Stretch out those quads. We're gonna stretch the butt out really quick before we get started. All right. Good, bring those knees up. This minute, well, I mean, this workout will take us about 27 minutes, my brain. Okay, let's put our knees out. If you're with me on Monday, your butt cheeks might hurt still a little bit. Mine do a little, so we gotta stretch it out good. Let's touch our toes. Just some warming up for the hamstrings and the butt. Okay, let me set my timer. We're gonna start with step ups here. So we're gonna step up and lunge back. Foot is gonna be completely on the chair. And when we step up, we're gonna press through our heel, all right? Okay, we're putting it on. All right, foot completely on this chair, push through the heel, and we're going to step up and step down. We're going to lunge back. Nice and controlled, step up, down, lunge back. So we're engaging the right butt cheek, left butt cheek. Good, we're going to do this for each side. Push through your heel. Good. Try to control focus. If you do not feel it in your butt cheeks and you feel it in your quads, then you need to squeeze those glutes and bring that knee back. Nice and controlled. Good. Switch sides, other foot up, lift, back. Good, if you have stairs, this is a great stair workout. Lift. Good morning. I'll peek at that comment in a second. Up, 
and back. Pushing through those heels. Make sure you're engaging. You should feel this right at the bottom of your butt cheek. Very good. Now, if you have a little bench, I will show you what you can do for the next exercise. If you do not have one, which is what we're gonna do, I will be doing that exercise. 10 more seconds. Good. Good, push that chair aside. If you have a little step stool, I want you side lunge, jumping over. If not, we're going here. Skaters, knee above those heels. Good, stretching the glute and engaging as we jump and switch. Stretch, engage. Good. Good, 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 stretch it out. We're gonna go back to our stool, I mean our chair. Ten more seconds. Good, grab your chair. Back to a step up. Here and back. Nice and controlled. Back. Good. My butt is working, I feel it. Step ups and lunges are two of my favorite things. There's a couple more, but. Good. And back. Back. Almost there. 15 more seconds. We're going to switch legs again. And switch. So the reason you want to do one leg at a time for your glute is I weigh about 125 right now. So that means that this one glute is getting at least 100 pounds on it versus doing double leg exercises. Now I'm splitting that weight between my glutes, especially if you don't have any equipment at home. So. Single leg focus, you can do a lot with. Good, almost there. Good. And back, 10 more seconds. I'm sure your heart rate is up, mine is. Good, five more. We're gonna push that chair side. Side lunges. Good. You have the step stool. Keep on going with that move. You got the step stool. Now you got a little bit more that you have to lift off the ground. So a little bit more glute engagement here. Again, at the bottom of our glutes right here. Good. If you don't have it, this is absolutely still good. If you have a toddler at home, you can always Grab a toddler. 30 extra pounds. That's good. Good. Almost there. 10 more seconds. Good, we're taking it to the ground. I want everybody to squeeze your butt cheek. Squeeze. Feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. Touch those toes together. We're gonna to sit it back into our heels and squeeze on the way up. We've got no weight here, but I want you to squeeze 
the glutes the entire time. If you have weights here, you can use your weight, but I want you to just squeeze. Squeeze. Shouldn't be a quick movement. If you move too fast, you're gonna miss out on the glutes. Squeeze. Easy exercise you could do while watching something on TV. Squeeze. You can see my glutes are flexed. If I don't flex them, this is what it looks like. But when I squeeze, we're gonna go for 30 more seconds. You can see that they're tight. Good, keep on going. Squeeze it and hold right here. Good, and squeeze at the top. Squeeze, keep on going. Squeeze, you should feel it a little bit in the inside here, around the top. Squeeze, you're definitely gonna feel the bottom of it too. All right, we're gonna go into plyo lunges. Stand on up. I'm gonna step it back. One leg back, jump and switch. Jump and switch. Very good. Good job. Good morning to those of you who haven't said good morning or afternoon, depending where you're at. Good, jump and switch. Good job. Woo, 30 more seconds. It might look like I'm kind of stuck in here. I've had a hamstring injury, had it for a lot of years. Woo. And it just nags. Good, 15 more seconds. 10. We're gonna go back to those reverse squats. And back down. Shake it out if you need to. Nice and wide. Feet together. Sit back and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's stretch and squeeze. Stretch, squeeze at the top. Good. If you have a resistance band, a long one, you can tie it over around a post in your house, put the band around your hip, and now you got tension as you squeeze. So the tension would be coming from here, and I push it back, and I squeeze. Or if you have dumbbells, you got squeeze. Squeezing is so important for this move. Squeeze, going back to the plyo lunges, Good. Whew, five more seconds. Good. And up. Plyo. Ah. Good job. Pushing it back, make sure that knee is in alignment with that heel. I'm over here, focus on my glute. Good, push through the heel and give a little pop. Twenty more seconds. Up, 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 focus on my glute. Heel in the ground. Good. Five more. We're going to go all the way down to the ground. Good. All right, let me move it down. Everybody lay flat on the ground. Here we are. All right. We're going to be doing Superman, but instead of our upper body, we're lifting just our lower body. So go ahead and lift and hold. You should feel that all in the lower back, upper part of your glutes, and lift, relax. Let's take it down, and up, down, up, up, up. Good, we're almost there. And then we're gonna do glute bridges on our couch again. Up, or your chair, 10 more seconds. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. And up. Arms again. 
against your couch. One foot forward. We're going to go one minute per leg. Down and up. I'm going to stay here quiet and focus. Make sure you're driving those knees forward versus driving the chest backwards. Knees forward. Squeeze the glute. Nice and controlled. Woo! 25 more seconds. Very good. All right, five more seconds. And switch. Uh oh, calendar emergency. Yeah, good one. Good. Drive that glute up and squeeze. The baby is probably tearing things apart. Good. And squeeze. Squeeze. 30 more seconds. Woo. 20. Squeeze. 10 more seconds. And up. Woo. We're going to go into curtsy lunges. So never mind my upper body. Watch my legs. Step in your back. Curtsy. Knee over the ankle. Good. Stretch that glute. Back and lift. Back, lift. Very good. We're going to do that whole set again. One more time. Good. Back and lift. How's that upper butt feel? Lower back. Good job. Woo. Good. 20 more seconds. We're going to go back into those Supermans. Rear leg lifts. Whew. Good. 15 more seconds. 10. Good. Whew. Five. Back on the floor. All right, lower body. Let's lift. Down. Lift. Good. You have mini bands. Great area to put them on your ankles, and you can hold it and adduct. And lift. Down. Good. If it's not burning, then you need a squeeze. Squeeze. Good. We've got 25 more seconds. Good job. Whew. Squeeze the glutes. Strong lower back is extremely important for strong glutes. So, whew. this is a good move. If you do not have weights at home, back to our bridges on the couch. And lift, squeeze. And squeeze at the top. Don't rush it. None of these moves have to be rushed to get engagement. Really about you focusing and squeezing that glute, putting all your energy and attention into that glute. Because I'm telling you, mine are burning. 20 more seconds. Woo. Good. All right, getting ready to switch. Woo! And switch those legs. Other leg out, push to the heel, 
Drive those knees forward. And left. Good. My left side always is torture because of that bad hamstring I have. Whew. Good. And for the record, I hurt my hamstring doing something very dumb. Should have known better. Now I pay. 30 more seconds. Good. Squeeze down. 20 more seconds. Push that heel into the ground. Good. 10 more. Good job. Five. Squeeze. And up. Back to our curtsy lunges. Woo. Oh. Glutes are tight. Hopefully your guys' ones are tight too. Woo. We're going to head to the floor when we're done with these curtsy lunges. Good. Push the heel back. The butt back. Knee to neck alignment with that heel. Good. Very good. Nice and controlled. 30 seconds. Good. 20 to go. Fifteen. The floor is going to be great. Ten more seconds. Five. Good. And down. Let's read these comments. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Oh, from Turkey. Good night. All right. Hit, uh, knees in alignment with those hips. Hands under your shoulders. Toe straight out. We're going to tap the floor and lift. Tap. Lift. Two. Hold it here. Squeeze that glute, ladies. I can't be the only one suffering here. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Woo! If you have ankle weights, this is incredible for ankle weights. Okay, we're going to bend that knee. Bring it into our chest. Push our heel out to the wall. In, out, in, out. Good. Push the heel against the wall. Good. This is like a horse kicking. Good. Squeeze and push. We're going to go straight into a fire hydrant after this one. Push, push, push. Good. 20 more seconds. You got this. If you have heavy shoes, you can also use heavy shoes for this exercise. Get more engagement. 10 more seconds. Yes. The leg on the bottom or hold a lot holding you, the stabilizing leg, will be burning too. It happens that way. And fire hydrant. And lift to the side. Woo! Lift. Squeeze on that lift. Great exercise if you have the resistance bands around your knees at this moment. Or ankle weights. If you want to go down to your elbows, you absolutely can go down to your elbows. Very good. Woo! Squeeze. Squeeze. Very, very good. Good. Almost there, we're gonna switch sides. Squeeze. Squeeze. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Burn, burn, burn. Good, 10 more seconds. Six. Five, four, good. I want you to do a child's pose really quick. 
feet together, scoot that butt back. Oh, stretch it out, shake it out. Toe out again and lift, lift, lift. Good. Oh, very good, honey. Good, lift. Use that glute to lift. Focus on that butt cheek. Your butt cheek should be fully activated now. Are you packing up for the camping? Okay, keep packing for the camping, honey. They're going camping in the hallway. Good, squeeze. We're gonna kick again. Bring that knee into the chest and heel, push it out. Kick. Woo. Very good. Good. Woo. Good, kick it out. I know these are tedious little moves, but they're so good, so good. I have drips coming down my face right now, 30 seconds. I hope you do too. Good. We're gonna go into that fire hydrant. All right, let's lift it up and out to the side. Never mind my beeper when it goes off. Fire hydrant. Very good, ladies. Focus on that glute and squeeze. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. You've ever been in a live class with me? I get a little crazy, a little animated, because I get so excited over glute workouts. It's pretty ridiculous. Good, keep on going. And, oh no. Hold on, you guys keep on going. What is going on? Oh, my goodness gracious. Sorry, no wonder it was so dark. The computer wasn't plugged in. I almost had a serious malfunction. Okay, good. Let's end it there. Heels together. Scoot that butt back, but we're not done, done, okay? Ah. Um. Stretch, shake it out. <clears throat> Find that chair or that couch again. I want your butt as close as you can get it. Drive those heels into the couch. We're going to drive it towards the couch. Squeeze down and up. One leg at a time. Very good. Pushing those heels into the couch. Don't let it push you backwards. Good job. Woo. Go, booty, go. Go. Twenty more seconds. Good. We only got one more leg, and then we're calling it done. And let's switch. Other leg up. Push that heel into your couch or your chair. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Don't let it push you back. Push it forward. Forward. Good. Drive in with those heels. And just enjoy the pain if you're feeling the pain yet. Good. Hey, little man. Oh, he's at the top of the stairs now. We're almost there, 20 more seconds. Woo. Oh, honey, I'm almost done. Good, drive it in, 10 more seconds. And done. That's 
that's how I feel. All right, my favorite stretch ever, if you guys want to do it with me. It is called the pigeon pose. One leg in front of your body, just like this. Cross over, sit that butt back into it, all right? You can't roll your leg under, no big deal. We're going to lay across our leg. Allow the glute to just relax and melt into the floor. Ah, there we go. Good. Stretch it out. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you guys. Can't make it too hard because then you guys will be all walking crooked and we're trying to do glutes again on Friday. No, we will do glutes again on Friday. So we don't want crooked walking. Good. Switch sides. Ah, uh, on Friday, we are going to do it with dumbbells. Is this safe for diastasis? And absolutely. I'm sorry I didn't see your uh, message earlier. This is 100% diastasis friendly. I am not doing any workouts at the moment that are not diastasis friendly. Whew, okay. If you don't like pigeon pose or it's too hard for you, you can bring that knee. You can go one arm across the other. I just don't like this stretch quite as much. Okay, honey. There we go, get a good stretch. And you can keep on stretching if you want to. Hello, Allison. Hello, Luciana. Woo, lots of you guys. All right, so I hope you guys like that. I hope it wasn't too bad, but I hope it was good enough. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I'm glowing, so hopefully you guys are too. Um, and I will be here on Friday. And share if you think this is good for somebody else. I hope you guys like it. I'm always open to comments, suggestions, anything you guys want. Just let me know. This is really fun for me. So don't feel like you're inconveniencing me basically to do an exercise with you guys. It's actually really fun for me. And I think it just helps since we're all isolated to talk to a person. <laughs> you're welcome, Allison. Yeah, I'm not doing any crazy moves that would not be safe for diastasis. I'm not one year postpartum yet, but I just feel like there's so many women that are still in that phase. So it's just not necessary. We can do without sit-ups and planks. We don't need it. It's not that big a deal. So <laughs> um, yeah, but if you guys have any suggestions, drop them to me anytime. I'm always open for suggestions. I hope you guys like this booty week and I'm not sure what we're going to work on next week. Maybe booty again, maybe something else, abs. I don't know. So if you guys want anything particular, let me know. But on Friday, we are going to do booty with dumbbells. Okay, so I'm going to create the post for that and share it out to you guys as usual. But stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha.